You know when you're cold, you're tired, it's been a long day, you want a quick, easy solution to get your Kelly kettle going or start your campfire? I've got one. As a young lad, I used to buy fishing magazines religiously every month, and that's where I first came across the Kelly Kettle. The Kelly Kettle featured in, I think it was Trout and Salmon magazine or Trout and Sea Trout, one of those salmon trout fishing magazines, and obviously being a teenager, I wanted one. It took me almost 30 years, but finally, just a few weeks ago, I took the plunge and bought one, and I love it. Now that I've got one, I've tried it, I've used it, and I'm totally invested. So I'm seriously considering buying their, their smallest Trekker model, which I think is half a litre, which should fit in the PLC side pouches of my Caramore SF Sabre 45, which is perfect if I'm going off uh, walking a river or heading along the coast for a day on my own. Now these things really are brilliant. They boil water in no time at all, using a minimum amount of fuel. You don't even need to carry fuel. And because of the way they burn, it's efficient. They are ridiculously easy to light, but I've found a way to make lighting them even easier. These little fire starters are dead easy to make and super efficient. And because they're made from rubbish, literally rubbish, they're pretty much free. So let's take a look at what you're going to need to complete this project. To start with, you'll need a cardboard egg box. You're also going to need a knife, a candle or candles to melt, and some dry wood shavings. When I talk about candles, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go out and buy candles. Nose around in your drawers at home, ask friends, ask family. You'll be amazed how many people have old candles lying around. They don't have to be white, they can be any colour, and even those smelly ones in the jars still work. For dry wood shavings, I use a combination of workshop wood shavings because I do a load of woodwork, uh, birch bark whenever I'm out in the woods on my own or with the dogs. If I see a fallen birch, I do tend to, to harvest some of this stuff uh, because it's a really good fire lighter in its own right. And often I'll use shavings from what I term chubby wood. Chubby wood is not an official term, it's nothing at all, it's just the term that I give pine wood that's got a resin present but not enough to qualify it as true fat wood. And if I do find true fat wood, I keep that because it's an excellent fire starter in its own right. You're also going to need some kind of pot or jar to melt your wax in. I'm going to use this old baked bean tin. And obviously you're going to need a heat source to melt the wax. So I'll be using my Trangia Spirit Burner with a cross pot stand and the can can sit on top. So we've got the stuff. Let's crack on and make one. I'm putting down a bit of baking sheet. You'll see why in a few minutes. Egg box. We don't need this part. We just need this part. I'm going to put some dry wood shavings in each of the egg cups. 
I'm going to start mine because I've got some with some torn up bits of birch bark. Scrunch it up, make sure it gets down in there. Birch bark burns exceptionally well and you can use this stuff as a fire lighter in its own right. There are loads of videos on here how to do that. Just look them up. Now I'm going to add some workshop shavings to each cup. This is really dry, it's a mixture of woods in here. There's some birch, ash, uh, what else is in there? Some pine. Sprinkle in some sawdust. This is quite resin rich pine. Now, let's melt the wax. I've broken up my candle to remove the wick and I put that in my little melting pot. Yep, that's done, we're good to go. I'm using pliers to hold this because obviously it's hot and I want to pour about a centimetre maybe of wax in each of the cups, just enough to stick everything together. You'll notice that I'm using a baking sheet underneath the egg carton and obviously that's because the wax will go through the egg box and I don't want it to stick to the surface beneath. So that's it, we just leave that to set. And whilst that's setting, it gives me a chance to do other things like enjoy more coffee. And this is what the knife's for, dividing these up. As simple as that six fire starters from one old egg box some workshop shavings and an old candle I have tried using just one of these fire starters in the Kelly kettle with no other fuel at all and although it did warm the water it didn't come to a boil maybe it would in the smaller trek model who knows I may well have a bash at doing this with two or even three at a time it's not what they're intended for but it could be worth knowing I don't only use these in my Kelly kettle, they're also brilliant for my twig stove, for getting a campfire going, and I use them at home for the fire pit or the barbecue. In fact, you can use these things anywhere where you might need a bit of help to get the fire going. There are many ways of making fire starters at home. If you want something more compact and packable, then a quick search of YouTube will give you the answer that you need. Or stay tuned and I might well make a video. That's it, the video is over and thank you very much for tuning in. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel wherever the button is, ring the little bell. Be good, be brilliant, be awesome. And remember, if I can help you in any way, get in touch, let's have a conversation and make good stuff happen. See ya.